John Mooring at Comonton Station, Quilpie. Oh, up until uh, March last year, this was just all clay pan, just all bare ground where we are he uh, here now. So John had been here for nine years. They've had the property for nine years. It was bare like this when they came. They tried to keep the stock off it and keep it really low stocking rates, and it wasn't recovering. Well, that's when we started putting the banks up late March. Followed by three and a half inches of fairly heavy rain at the end of March, um, which did a bit of damage, but then we've just got a lot of little falls last year. Um, I think we had 33 falls of rain last year and 29 of them were less than 10 mils. So there wasn't much until um, Ma uh, late January, early February this year. We had 175 mils in three weeks and it's really, it's really bounced away now. Since Glenn's been involved from Southern Queensland Landscapes, helping us with all the laser work and uh, his advice, and it's been great. So uh, yeah, we he gets lots of phone calls, uh, <laughs> telling him what's going on. And you know, it's only March last year we did all this works, and just since March, there's been a tremendous recovery of wherever we've done the works, compared to where there's not been the works done, it's still just the same as it's been for nine years. It needed some sort of intervention. It was past, past recovering on its own. It's a low rainfall area, but it, it's very patchy. That's normal. Um, but we are getting a lot of light falls, so we've got to sort of make up, make the best we can of those little light falls of rain. Yeah, we're talking many kilometres. It's a big area, this. And for such a low cost, the type of res res restoration we're getting compared to what it would still look like. Well, previously, any this country was so bare it would just wash. So all the water, if most falls would be gone pretty quickly, it'd run off very quickly. It'd be dry in another day or so, two days. Whereas now, with their spreader banks and our blocks, as it moves down from one section to the next, it's wet for up to a week now. Yeah, so it's made a huge difference of just slowing that water down. It's really good to see the country coming back now from what it was just bare, blowing dust all the time. The health of that country that's there behind us, that's sort of what we're aspiring towards. That's what all the country down this floodplain, the whole way to Quilpie, which could be 50, 60 K, should all look like that. And that's what everyone's trying to get involved at the moment and bring that functionality back in. Find where the water's leaking, doing damage, get it functioning again, and hopefully that's what we're gonna end up with the whole way.